So the city girl mayor, Tiffany Hanyard, has been getting a lot of attention and not the kind of attention that she would want in her first term as the mayor of Dalton, Illinois. Now, Dalton, Illinois is a small suburb right outside of the city of Chicago with 90 percent of those people being African-American. But city girl mayor Tiffany Henyard has come into power. She's the first woman and the first black woman to ever be nominated to be mayor of this city. And also she wants to be known as a person doing a great job. But that's not what's been happening because the Dalton trustees who hate her have created a YouTube channel called Dalton trustees. And man, there's so much information out on her. Let's talk about the Las Vegas trip that she took with the city's money. Let's talk about how she hired a convicted SEX offender to the staff. But also, let's talk about things like this. How Tiffany Henyard wasted $150,000 of taxpayers' money to lease a Chevy Tahoe. But at the end of the day, nobody comes here to argue with you. Nobody at all. There are bills that we have the right to take off. We have the right to make decisions about. You say that you're running it at the end of the day, because this is going to be the narrative. When we go broke, you're going to say, I wasn't even on the bank account. The trustees did it. When at the end of the day, you're making decisions and spending money and then get mad when we don't approve it because it's not financially staffed. I sat here and looked at a lease that child's paying $149,000 for one of them trucks. You make absolute, that's like when you're 19 years old and you go get a car and the interest rate 27%. But that's not all. City Girl Mayor is trying to clean up her image. And yes, she has her own YouTube page called Village of Dalton. The Village of Dalton is supposed to combat what's going on with the trustees of Dalton. Her supporters are trying to clean up her image. And I want to play this particular video called Tiffany A. Henyard Street Repaving Testimonials. My name's Tony. I work with Gallagher Asphalt. Uh, we've done more work in Dalton in the last two years than we've done in 15 years. Hats off to you and uh, keep up the good work and keep, keep Dalton beautiful, Miss Mayor. Thank you very much. The street has been uh, a messed up for a long time. I remember the first pot I've been on the street for about 20, 21 years. And, but the last several, the past years, it's just been horrible. I've, I've had, a, my doctor told me to stay off roller coasters because of my back condition. I said, well, you need to come see my street. It was that bad. I'm just so glad that uh, uh, the mayor uh, has need for the people. And we needed this. We needed this, and I'm so grateful. And she, she was very true to her word, doing it. And with the trees and the street, it's just, it's just a beautiful sight to see. I'm, I'm so, I'm so happy. I, now I feel like I'm, I'm in a community, and I belong, I belong here because I wanted to leave. But now, you know, with this type of mayor who, who listens to the people, um, it's, it's wonderful. Wonderful. I'm so, so glad that she is our mayor. And she do care. She do it. How about that? Ha! Watch me work. Watch me work. Watch my feet. Watch my feet. Watch my feet. Watch me work. And then there's this video, which was put out about seven days ago. Dalton Police Department keeping guns off our streets. We're already halfway done. Yeah, I feel like that. Yeah, it's so organized. We're already halfway done. So, yeah, very nice to meet you. Absolutely. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Yeah, all these guns off the street. And now, just so people know, they are destroying them. So, these guys here, uh, gun busters, they are destroying the guns. So, you don't have to worry about it ever, ever coming back on the street. And then there's this video. Super Mayor Tiffany A. Henyard raises awareness for Termini Ill. Community, one Illinois mayor has made the trip to Springfield in hopes of raising awareness for the terminally ill. Tiffany Henyard walked 197 miles from Dalton to Springfield. She wants to bring attention to a bill that would provide Illinois families with a tax credit for medical bills paid while treating terminal illnesses. Uh, it's so important because people need to know about awareness. If you know 
you can do something about it. Half of the time, people find out at the last minute. And when they find out the last minute, sometimes they're in stage four cancer. And I just want people to know that there are resources. We do live in a time, guys, where bad news always travels faster than good news. That's everywhere you go. So we could probably understand that Tiffany Henyard, you know, probably does some good things. But she considers herself super mayor. She even calls herself that on her Instagram bio, super mayor. But there's only one problem with the term super mayor, because the term super mayor should only be used by people who call you super mayor. But see, people refer to her as anything but super, maybe super annoying, maybe super silly, maybe super selfish, maybe super dusty but never super mayor. And see, when you gotta toot your own horn because of the lack of work that you're doing, then that's how people come in there and do whatever they want. But guys, I want you to understand something. This is a bigger problem on its own. And it's not about necessarily her. We do have a black leadership problem. And it's been festering and it's been spoiling our people and our society for a long time. And the issue is, is that people wanna get into leadership for themselves. But we forget who we are working for. We gotta always remember that. The same thing that we see with black pastors, the same thing that we see with people in politics. When you say, I want to be a leader, that is a sacrifice in leadership. Leaders sacrifice for the greater good of others. But what you see now in black America is people want to be leaders. I'm looking at you, Dr. Umar Johnson, for the benefit of themselves to toot their own horn. And I want to be able to feel entitled because, you know, a lot of folks feel like this. I'm anointed. God anointed me to rule over you and live a better life than you because that's I'm special and you're not. So I should have everything and you don't have nothing. It's the same problem we're having in Africa. It's the same problem we're having all over the black world. And we have people who want to toot their own horns without doing the work. Let somebody else call you the super mayor. If your work is great, we would know it. But the thing is, is the work isn't great. So when the work isn't great, you got to lie for yourself. Imagine great presidents and, 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 and great politicians of the past. None of them have to toot their own horn because they're already good. You see, they don't have to toot their own horn. Look at Apple. Apple never has to say we have the best phone on the market. We kind of already know that Apple has the best phone on the market. It's something we all understand. It's understood that Apple has the best phone on the market. We know it, Apple knows it, Samsung knows it, Motorola knows it, everybody knows it, Google Pixel know it, we all know it. They're the best. Why are they the best? Because they focus on being the best every year. Apple spends billions of dollars on technology, on research, on everything to be the best. But Tiffany Henyard wants to clout chase to be the best. She wants to give visuals and take pictures and videos of her being the best but you're not doing the work because if you were doing the work, you wouldn't need to boost your own self. Like the city of Dalton has more information about her than the city itself. You're the mayor, it's nice if you were there, but what about the people? Why does this YouTube channel look like it's ran by you? The village of Dalton, everything is about the mayor. Everything, she's almost every thumbnail, it's about what she's doing. Look, tree trimming with sewer mayor Tiffany A. Henyard. Mayor Tiffany A. Henyard addresses the park. You know. B.O. Day Father's Day. Mayor Tiffany Henyard addresses just ice rink progress. Epoch C floor coming. Why is all this stuff about you? Like, it's everything's about you. Why is the mayor in every picture, every thumbnail? Like she looked nicely. All in the videos, all dancing, all kind of stuff. Doesn't make sense. This should be more about the people. The mayor is just one part of the city. Granted, she or he could be the leader, but just one part of the city. Why are you everything in the city? Why are you all over the city? And guess what? And on Facebook and YouTube, they have blocked the comments. Nobody can comment on the post. Nobody. Wanna know why you can't comment on the post? Because they don't want you to see what's going on there. That's why. Because they know they are lying. She knows she's lying. And she doesn't want the real information to get out. She don't want people coming in there seeing what or seeing what they want to say. No, because you know you're going to get exposed. So if that's the case, if the people of the city can't come out and say how they feel, then you're not a super mayor. You're just a super fraud. 
Well, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. We're out.